So, welcome to the lecture 28 that is organic meat production. So, this is a different uh, topic. So, uh, this is a uh, actually we are discussing about the fruits, vegetables uh, including the your rice crops, cereals, pulses, oil seeds, fruits, vegetables, tea, but how meat is organic? So, as we discuss the meat as a non-vegetarian, so we have discussed about the vegetarian food, how we are growing organic way. As a non-vegetarians, either you can have the meat, fish, even if the milk also. So, how the how we can have a organic meat, organic fish or the organic milk. So, that is a very challenge actually, it looks interesting actually, how uh, uh, what is organic meat and how we can go for the organic meat productions organically and how the uh, organic meat will have the uh, effect on the human health of the, like your organic vegetables, organic fruits, organic cereals like you have the, the meat, but that is organically grown. That means, they are grown organically, the management is a such a way that so that we can, we can certify it as a organic produce. So, uh, now discuss the how we can go for the organic meat productions. Uh, what is a organic meat? So, if you see the um, what do you mean by organic meat? Uh, uh, what is required for uh, meat to uh, earn the organic levels? I can say organic meat or the conventional, most of we, we know that say meat is conventional, this one meat is meat, is a conventional meat, but how can have the organic meat? So, the USDA, United States Department of Agriculture passed rules in 2002 that sets guidelines to be considered for certified organic meat. They include this uh, following criteria. That means, the for organic meat, the meat has to be certified as a organic, the cattle are born and raised on certified organic pasture. That means, the feed material, the food material of the cattle should grown organically. No chemical fertilizer, no chemical pesticides should be used in the pasture which is used for feeding the cattle. So, that should be free from fertilizers and pesticides. Second, uh, those cattle or the poultry, they should not receive any antibiotics. Then only you can certify as organic. And they never receive growth hormones, growth promoting hormones not used in while rearing this uh, livestock or the poultry or the cattle, they should not have any growth hormones and they are uh, fed only certified organic grains and the grasses because the food as you discussed the either the pasture that should be organic, no synthetic chemical fertilizers or pesticides are used. Similarly, the processed food if they are you are feeding the cattle, the processed food also should be grown as a organic or they should be collected from the uh, organic sources because they, the, the, the places they should grown should be organic way, no fertilizer pesticide used for the food material that is used for the processing of the uh, processed feed for the cattle. And they have unrestricted outdoor access because uh, they have the free locomotion, free movement should not be confined to a four to four walls. So, they should have the free access to outdoor access free, to outdoors, they have the free movement. So, if they, they satisfy their farm certify or the meet this criteria, then the meat produced or the milk produced from the farm can be branded as organic meat or organic poultry or organic milk also you can say milk as you say milk organic milk. So, organic meat, poultry, milk or dairy products as you say milk from animals that are given to given no antibiotics or the growth hormones and the feed materials uh, they are because are mostly grown are only grown through organic way then only those livestock or the meat produced from those livestock or the eggs or the dairy products like uh, milk or the cheese, they can be certified as a organic. This is how this is organic. So, how do differentiate between the conventional meat, organic meat, natural meat and the grass fed meat. So, that is a United States Department of Agriculture definitions say conventional meat no definitions. For the organic meat, that is a produce according to USDA national organic standard. So, as it stand means they should not they should not use any growth hormones, growth promoting hormones, no antibiotics, and the, the feed materials are more are grown only organics, uh, they are without any chemical fertilizer pesticides. 
So uh, these are the uh, and also the outdoor access free movement. So the the livestock should not suffer from any stress, uh, any physical injury. So in that that way we can say as a the organic meat. So there is a regulations for the organic meat. They meet the standard regulations to have the organic meat. Natural meat, uh, no artificial ingredients. So uh, it's the minimal processing that can natural meat and the grass fed meat. So there is no specific regulations for the for the grass fed meat. Uses of hormones. So in organic, not allowed. No hormones, growth from promoting hormones are allowed in organic farming or the organic meats. But the conventional, it's allowed. And natural meat or the grass fed meat, so this vary, there is no proper definition, it may and may not be, may not be used. Similarly, the antibiotics is not allowed in case of organic meats, but it is allowed in case of conventional and the natural and the grass fed, it also vary. Feed grown with chemical pesticides and fertilizers, these are not allowed in organic meat productions, but these are allowed for the conventional meat and in case of the natural meat or the grass fed meat also, they vary. Necessary to allow the cattle to graze and pasture. Conventional uh, meat is all restricted. There is no outdoor access. But in case of organic, it is must. The cattle should have outdoor access. And in case of the natural, no standard. Uh, normally farmers, they, they do allow the cattle to graze outside, outdoor access. And uh, in case of same for the grass fed meat also, normally farmers allow the cattle to graze outside. And in case of the animal confinement, uh, in case of conventional meat production, yes, so there is a confined to a particular location, so there is a free movement, free locomotions in the, in case of the conventional meat, but organic meat, so there is outdoor access, only in case there is a weather is not convenient, not favorable, they can be indoor, otherwise they have the outdoor access. Natural meat, no standard, uh, normally the farmers uh, used to provide the outdoor access and also same for the uh, grass fed meat. Meat irradiation, so that is not allowed in case of the organic meat or in case of the natural meat. So there is no irradiations. Usually irradiation is done uh, using the electromagnetic radiations to protect the uh, the food materials from the infestation of the uh, the insect pest and to have a uh, the longer shelf life of this uh, food materials. But this is uh, because of the, uh, uh, the using the X-ray or the gamma radiation. So this is not allowed in case of the organic meat or the natural meat, though uh, there is a its research says, so this has no harmful effect on the human health, still uh, it is prohibited in organic and the natural meat. Presence of GMO that is genetically modified organism in the food materials, this not allowed in organic meat or the natural meat, but uh, this, uh, this allowed in case of the conventional meat or the sometimes the grass fed meat also is that vary. So, these are the some of the characteristic different I can see the conventional meat, organic meat these are branded as organic and the natural meat the farmers because uh, the natural meat or the grass fed meat. So, uh, so that is uh, the, uh, the animal welfare. So, uh, that we discuss then what is uh, mean by animal welfare uh, because you no know, this uh, um, the behavior of the animal. Uh, I can tell you one uh, um, example in case of the in Kobe or say, say Japan, uh, the Kobe beef is uh, famous worldwide and also very expensive. Uh, we cannot say, say exactly organic meat, but this is, this is rearing the way of organic, uh, say, say organic meats are really expensive there. And this when you they manage the cattle actually, in case while managing cattle, they, would, they do not give any type of the pain or the suffering any injury to the cattle. The cattle are grown as a ambient, as a very comfortable and healthy environments and uh, free locomotions, free movement area. At the same time what they do in the every evening or you can say morning also. So, there is some uh, music. So, cattle used to dance. So, they do play the music and cattle used to dance with the tune of the music. That means, uh, that type of the environments is provided to the to those cattle and uh, that make them so much happy. That means, making happy the welfare, the animal welfare, making them happy, making them free and the meat produced or the milk produced from such animals, they do not uh, have any type of the stress, uh, they do not go any type of stress and happy and stress at any stage also. They are, so, they are free from stress. So, those meats are rich in uh, quality, better quality and that, uh, that is uh, as a branded, those are branded as a organic 
meat and very expensive, also very expensive. So, uh, that is what say nowadays meat produced are being used to uh, animal welfare uh, meat uh, are being are beginning to use the animal welfare methodology what do you mean animal welfare. Animal welfare is in organic in productions or otherwise called for implementing various guidelines that includes uh, providing more space to animals and reducing the number of animals per acre. So, having the more space so free movements so they can they, they, they can bring some type of changes in their the physiology in the behavior of the animals. So, that is required that is required when you go for the organic uh, meat productions. Provide access to sufficient open fields, water and the food materials that means no stress, live happily, happy living for the animal. So, that uh, that is that is the main criteria for this organic meat productions. So, uh, ensuring holistic food instead of feeding the purely energy rich so combination of foods of carbon. So, this is that that gives the better uh, meats as compared to having a only a single type of the single nutrient diets. Greater healthcare facilities and reducing the stress levels of the animal that is very, very important. So, health cares, maintenance, health cares and the stress animals should not be given any type of injury, no pain, no stress to the animals in case in if you are branding as a organic. On four types of freedom of animals you can say the farm animals welfare councils uh, a UK based organizations has uh, uh, let stress on five uh, so four types of freedom of our animals whether on the on the farm or in transit before the slaughterhouse or in slaughterhouse. So, where you have to maintain this the, the freedom for the animals freedom from hunger and thirst that means the livestock should be given a free access to fresh water source and fresh diet at every step in the farm the transit means before slaughterhouse and in the slaughterhouse also. This should, this should be so have a free access to food and to water. Freedom from discomfort that means the animals should be given a comfort shelter at every steps in the farm, transit and the slaughter. Transit means transportation from the farm to the slaughterhouse. So, transit also. So, all steps they should their, their environment should be very convenient and very comfortable for them. Freedom from pain, injury or disease that means the healthy condition should be maintained and immediate attention should be paid to disease and the disorder. So, they should not suffer from any type of stress either through pain, injury or disease. So, that should be taken care very quickly and effectively. Freedom to express normal behavior, the animals should be given free space and company of their own space own as, as I have an example of the, the Kobe in Japan. So, uh, they rear the animals in a happy environment animals do live very happily and also they do masses in the neck area they make a regular masses the animals. So, that way that that brings some changes in their the, the physiological behavior of the animals and the, the product of these animals either the meat or the milk they are of the good that the tastier you can say better taste tastier and also that is a good for health many, many good for health and also that is also very very expensive. And the breeds and breeding the using the breeds should be chosen which are adapted to local condition usually we have, we have heard the gm genetically modified or uh, especially the local cows uh, as, as you see in indian organics local cow the milk of the local cow has a better quality as compared to the uh, milk of the hybrid cow and uh, that uh, that has a better health effects in the local cow you have the uh, better health health benefit as compared to the hybrid cow that's be locally ad, uh, locally adapted and reproduction techniques should be na natural, no artificial techniques should be used for the reproductions. Then embryo transfer technique is are not allowed in case of the organic uh, meat productions. Hormonal heat treatment is also not allowed, it is a very natural way and use of GMO is also not allowed in case of the organic breeding, organic meat. Feeding that means livestock should be fed 100 percent organically grown feed. So, as you discussed the feed should be produced organically. Uh, more than uh, 50 percent of the feed shall come from the farm unit itself and the uh, or shall be provided within the region. So, that means the in farm. So, whatever the produce in the farm that can be used for the feeding the animals. However, in some cases 15 to 20 percent total feed could be obtained from conventional farm. So, most of the feeds uh, more than 50 percent feeds should come from the organic sources and moreover that should be produced in the farm itself to have a organic meat production or organic farming. And uh, the use of synthetic growth uh, growth promoter substances as synthetic appetizers or the uh, 
preservatives, artificial coloring, coloring agents, urea, solvent extracted from oil cake, genetically engineered organisms or products thereof are not allowed in uh, feed for the feeding in case of the organic farming or the organic meat production. Animal health, if you talk of the animal health, so um, an important objective of organic livestock husbandry is the avoidance of reliance upon the routines or the prophylactic use of the conventional veterinary medicines. So, that is uh, usually avoided the conventional veterinary medicines should not be used in case of the organic meat productions. So, however, you can use natural medicines uh, and the natural methods as a including the homeopathy. Homeopathy is allowed. Ayurvedic medicine is also allowed like a plant based extracts that can be used and the acupuncture also that is a very common because you know in the human being also you do acupuncture suppose you have some uh, suppose you see your uh, palm and there is a certain positions if you press the different positions acupuncture if you press this ones then you have relief on your face and eye and your tooth you can have some relax on your face eye and tooth uh, that makes some relaxation. Similarly, if you see your this person also, so uh, the knee, uh, this the, this person here also you can have a press also. You, uh, this can have effect on your on your uh, heart, uh, also on your on your teeth, on your on, on your brain, brain. And also similar, so, so like acupuncture, the, that can be uh, that can be used in case of the organic meat productions, the homeopathy, Ayurvedic, and acupuncture. That's that's allowed in case of the organic uh, meat production. The use of conventional veterinary medicines are uh, are allowed when no other non allopathic alternative is available, and we cannot cure with the either the homeopathic medicine, Ayurvedic, or acupuncture fails. In that case, we cannot see the livestock are suffering. So, in that case, we can go for the conventional allopathic medicine can be used. But however, so if you are you are going for the satisfying organic products. And this is the conventional uh, the allopathic medicines that can be used twice in a year. So, if you are using more than two times in, in, a, in a year of the conventional medicine, then your products should not be certified as organic. So, that should be kept in mind. So, up to two times are allowed because to protect the livestock from the sufferings. Vaccines shall be used when the disease are known or expected to be a problem in the regions of the farm and where the disease cannot be controlled by other management techniques. So, however, genetically engineered vaccines are prohibited. So, these vaccines non genetically engineered normal vaccines can be used for a location specific where there is a specific disease are known to be prevalent in that case vaccines can be uh, vaccines are allowed, but not genetically engineered. So, uh, if you we discuss this one for the general in case of the uh, livestock, if you discuss about organic cattle rearing for the cattle, how you can follow the specific rules and regulations for the organic cattle. Uh, uh, in case the space allowance, uh, as you discussing, there should be indoor space as well as outdoor space for the organic uh, productions. Indoor area to be supplemented by outdoor area that is uh, that must be there for indoor and outdoor. The animals should not be kept in close confinement as it influences both physical and the behavioral issues uh, are um, changed with the close confinement. So, like human being also free airs outside outdoor access that have the better feelings that make some changes behavioral changes according there is a chemical secretions in the uh, animal body that makes their meat or the milk that healthier and the better quality the tastier as compared to the conventional meat. And the greater space and environmental diversity that permit expression of a wider range of behavior. That behavior that is a better behavior uh, with the happy, the happy living say. So, you have a more space and the uh, more environmental diversity. So, that gives a happy living and that has a effect on the, the final quality, the quality of the meat or the milk as the product of the uh, livestock. Then flooring and provision of bedding. So, when you go for the uh, uh, indoor space that flooring farm animals must be provided with litters not this no slated flooring completely slated floors are not allowed only the uh, the uh, litters that means straw bedding the straws can be used uh, on the floor and the animals can have a comfortable sleeping the sleep habit with having a straw bedding rather than having a complete slated floor the slated floor is not allowed in case of the organic meat production nutrition and feeding and the cattle specially the the grass based systems in that case at least 60 percent of dry matter in daily rations has to has to consist of 
रोफेजेस फ्रेस और ड्राइड फर्डर और सेलेज बिकॉज सेलेज यू कैन मेक द प्रिजर्वेशन केप इट फॉर लंगर पीरियड्स सो वन फॉर द डिलीवेशन सिक्सटी परसेंट ड्राई मेटर शुड कम फ्रॉम द रोफेजेस फ्रेस एंड ड्राइड फर्डर और सेलेजेस सो आई वन यू गो फॉर द फ्रेस ड्राई मैटर द ग्रास बेस्ट सिस्टम द फ्रेस ड्राई मैट द फ्रेस ग्रासेस आर द बेस्ट एंड ऑफकोर्स यू हैव द प्रोसेस फीड्स आर देयर आज डिस्कस प्रोसेस फीड कैन बी यूज बट दोज प्रोसेस फीड्स शुड बी ग्रोन ऑर्गेनिकली दैट शुड बी द एरिया वेयर इट ग्रोन ओनली ऑर्गेनिक नो केमिकल फर्टिलाइजर और सिंथेटिक पेस्टिसाइड आर नॉट यूज ओनली दोज फीड्स कैन बी यूज फॉर द प्रोसेसिंग इन द प्रोसेस फीड कैन बी यूज फॉर द ऑर्गेनिक प्रोडक्शन ह्यूमन केयर इन ह्यूमन केयर सो द क्लीनिंग डिस इन्फेक्शन एंड वैक्सीनेशन दैट्स ऑल्सो शुड बी शुड बी टेकन केयर सो दिस द हाउसेस द द एनिमल हाउस शुड बी मेड क्लीन एंड शुड बी फ्री फ्रॉम एनी पेस्ट एंड डिजीज रेगुलर क्लीनिंग आर दिस शुड बी इज रिक्वायर्ड देन कैटल रियर इन ऑर्गेनिक सिस्टम्स हैट लेस लिवर एंड किडनी डिजीज कंपेयर टू कन्वेंशनल सिस्टम इज रिपोर्टेशन सो सो हैविंग ऑर्गेनिक सिस्टम्स एंड द रेगुलर क्लीनिंग एंड डिस इन्फेक्शन एंड वैक्सीनेशन दैट ऑल्सो हेल्प्स इन हैव ए बेटर बेटर हेल्थ ऑफ दिस कैटल म्यूटिलेशंस दैट मीन्स सो दैट मीन फिजिकल इंजुरी सो आज से सो द एनिमल शुड नट सफर फ्रॉम एनी इंजुरी एनी एनी द इज एक्ट ऑफ फिजिकल इंजुरी दैट डिग्रेड्स द अपेरेंस और फंक्शन ऑफ एनी लिविंग बॉडी सो दैट्स ए म्यूटिलेशंस मीन्स द कस्ट्रेशंस और द डी हर्निंग टेल डकिंग एंड बिग ट्रिमिंग ऑल्सो इन हिन हेन इन फॉर द हेन शू गो फॉर द बिग ट्रिमिंग द बिग ट्रिमिंग दैट कजेस दैट मीन्स फियर पेन डिस्ट्रेस अमंग द एनिमल्स द बर्ड्स दैट शुड बी अवॉइडेड वेन यू गो फॉर द ऑर्गेनिक प्रोडक्शन हेल्थ ट्रीटमेंट तो हेल्थ ट्रीटमेंट रेगुलर पेशेंट केयरफुल ऑब्जर्वेशन आर एसेंशियल्स आज यू सी दी मैनेजिंग वेरी केयरफुली एंड द सिस्टमेटिक वे एज ऑर्गेनिक वे स्टैंडर्ड ऑर्गेनिक मीट प्रोडक्शन सो रेगुलर मेन्टेनेंस द क्लीनिंग डिस इन्फेक्शन ऑफ दि एनिमल हाउस इज एसेंशियल इन अर्डर टू परफॉर्म क्लिनिकल एक्जामिनेशन एनिमल्स सोइंग डिजीज सिमटम्स हाज टू बी सेपरेटेड फ्रॉम दैट ग्रुप सो विथ सम एनिमल्स दे सफर फ्रॉम एनी टाइप ऑफ डिजीज दे शुड बी रिमूव फ्रॉम दि ग्रुप्स एंड दिस शुड बी केयर इन आइसोलेशन सो दैट दिस डिजीज शुड नट स्प्रेड टू अदर एनिमल्स इमिडिएटली द एनिमल्स शुड बी रिमूव फ्रॉम दि ग्रुप्स एंड शुड बी केयर इन आइसोलेशन एंड इन आज यू डिस्कस्ड इन ऑर्गेनिक फार्मिंग फाइटोथेरापिटिक एंड दि होमिओपैथिक प्रोडक्ट्स आर यूज इन प्रिफरेंस टू केमिकली सिंथेसाइज एलोपैथिक मेडिसिनल प्रोडक्ट्स और एंटीबायोटिक्स सो यूजली गो फॉर दि आई द होमिओपैथिक और द आयुर्वेदिक द प्लान बेस्ड प्रोडक्ट्स फॉर दि फॉर दि क्यूरिंग फॉर द कंट्रोल ऑफ एनी डिजीजेस दैट कैन बी यूज्ड बट इन इफ द यूज ऑफ द अथराइज सब्सटेंसेस और द फाइटोथेरापिटिक और द होमिओपैथिक आर आर नॉट इफेक्टिव एंड इफ द ट्रीटमेंट इज एसेंशियल टू अवॉइड सफरिंग एंड डिस्ट्रेस केमिकल प्रोडक्ट्स मे बी यूज सो आज डिस्कस सो so you don't want that to seeing the animals are dying that we that we cannot do uh, unlike like troughs or something because this is very live you can we can see their symptoms like human being also so when you go for the because they can because no they can they can listen to us so uh, we we cannot see that they do suffer from um, from disease so in that case when the the uh, the allowed medicines are not effective for control of any diseases then you can go for the chemical methods that the Uh, allopathic methods we can use but there is a limitations if the animal receive more than two courses of treatment with chemical product within a year and the product derived from derived may not be sold as organic so if uh, there is uh, more than two times or two times a year is allowed to go for the uh, chemical treatment uh, if there is more than two time then that product may not be labeled as organic product so these are the some uh, these uh, discuss some of the management practices Uh, for the organic meat production, either the poultry or the livestock, livestock, such as how they can be reared. That means the all the processes are behavioral issue in the in the animals. We should see that they should not suffer, they should not have any injury, they should not go under stress. Always happy living, happy life, happy, happy life. Make them the the animal house house should be clean, neat and clean. They should maintain regularly, and there should not be any disease. If any any animal any uh, that is uh, noticed of any uh, disease and any disease that animal should be um, isolated should be taken uh, taken away from this group that can be kept in isolation treated treated separately not in not in the group and these are the uh, these are the management practices uh, as you go for the organic meat we will discuss some of the how the uh, um, 
the pros and the uh, cons of the uh, eating organic meat. As I say this uh, that uh, in organic meat that reduces exposure to harmful chemicals as well as growth hormones and genetically modified organisms. And organic meat of course, the tastier uh, and the better as compared to the conventional meat. Organic meat is tracked from farm to plate as you got the certification process because somebody applies for organic certifications then certification starts from the farm. Maintenance of the farm, how the farm is maintained, how the animals are reared, how the, how the animals are treated for the, um, for the diseases and the food materials everything is, is inspected regularly. So, that is the inspection process that goes from farm to plate. So, in that way that is a much uh, safer have a, uh, that have a uh, health benefits uh, otherwise uh, the chemi chemicals so because you do not have any regulations on the conventional meat. Uh, reduce exposure to illness transmitted through animals because uh, as they are uh, maintained through organically. So, there is a less effect of the illness less uh, effect on the bad effect on the health in organic meat as compared to conventional meat. But there are some negatives as say that it will be more expensive uh, as compared to the uh, conventional meat. Organic uh, butcher shops are not uh, conveniently located. Moreover, organic meats are not usually available at most restaurants. So, there are some problems with the um, as this, uh, organic meat. So, quality, how can say why go organic meat and brand organic meat? Meat is a non, non uh, organic, produced organically, has a better sum of the research information. So, you can see how the uh, um, organic meats, organic products are better quality as compared to conventional meat. So, uh, there is a little difference, see the meat quality. So, you could not find much difference uh, with respect to pH shear force and the color organic meat and conventional meat appears to be same, but the fat profile varied considerably between production systems and season. That in fact means meat fat from organic cattle contained higher concentration of conjugated linoleic acid and omega 3 fatty acid and had a lower ratio of omega 6 to omega 3 fatty acid. Uh, as compared to the non organic meat. So, organ omega 6 fatty omega uh, uh, 3 fatty acid omega fatty acid is essential for the of, the of course, the, the health and the linoleic acids that is also good for the as a good uh, good for good for the health. So, those contents are higher in case of the organic meat as compared to the conventional meat. And also the content of dry matters crude protein as fat and uh, N3 uh, fatty acids was higher in organic chicken chicken meat and the sense uh, also the sensory pan uh, the panelist suggested organic broiler meat as tougher and the tastier as compared to the conventional um, broiler meat. So, uh, there are uh, information research information that, sh that shows that the organic meats they are of the safer and of the better quality and uh, as compared to the conventional meat. And the to have that has, has an effect on the food quality because as many uh, linoleic acid the good uh, fatty acids. So, that is good for health that is that is higher in case of the uh, organic meat as compared to the conventional meat and this dry uh, crude protein as and N3 fatty acid that are also higher in case of the organic meat as compared to the conventional meat. So, uh, this is how there is a there is a positive effect of organic way of managing that can that can have a uh, better quality of the produce and this is the way of uh, managing being ha having organic way we can brand the products by maintaining from the farm to plate the, the organic way. Even if as you say that is a farm transit and the slaughterhouse finally come into the plates. If you manage this organic way of the anima animals rearings, the better living, happy living of the animals. So, that causes some of the behavioral changes in the animal body as compared to the conventional farming and that brings a tastier the meat as well milk and the quality of the milk and meat as better as compared to the conventional meat productions. With this I um, close this lecture. Thank you very much.